Hello guys, in this video, let's see how to flash the official CyanogenMod Mod 12 on the OnePlus One. So let's get started. For this, you'll need to have TWRP recovery installed. If you don't have TWRP recovery installed, then I have a specific detailed guide on how to install TWRP recovery in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. And if you have TWRP recovery pre-installed, then don't worry. Simply go ahead and reboot into recovery mode. Now, as you can see, we have successfully booted into the TWRP recovery. Now simply go ahead and select backup. This will backup the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong afterwards or if you are not satisfied with the ROM afterwards then you can simply restore this backup and come back to your original ROM and uh, you will be on the safer side always. So simply swipe to backup and backup the current ROM. After that simply go into wipe and select swipe to factory reset. This will wipe all the user data, cache and Dalvik cache. After that's done simply head over to install. And now select the CM12 zip which you have downloaded. I'll give the link of this ROM in the description below so don't forget to check that out too. Select the CM12 zip and now select swipe to confirm flash and this will flash the CM12 zip. After this we will flash G apps which contains various Google apps like uh, Play Store, Google Play services and everything else which are necessary to use all the Google services. So after that we will flash that. As this is the nightly official build of the CM12, new builds are coming daily. So I tried to dirty flash a new nightly on the earlier nightly and that worked very fine. So if you want to update your nightly, then simply go into wipe, then go into advanced wipe, then select Dalvik cache and cache. Now simply swipe to wipe and after that go into install once again and select the updated nightly which you want to flash. So as you can see we, we have completed the flashing of CM12 zip. Now we have to flash caps, so let's flash them. So if you are using multi-ROM TWRP like me, then don't forget to hit the multi-ROM inject current boot sector, so you will get to the boot menu by which you can select the ROM. And now simply hit the reboot option and select reboot to system. And now we will boot into Cyanogen Mod 12. So guys we successfully booted into the ROM and I set up everything like my Google account and everything else. So let's take a look at the CM12 and as you can see the double tap feature on the OnePlus One is working and other main features like having the on-screen on navigation bar is also there. Like if we go into buttons and then enable, we can enable this option too or we can disable it. And now if you want the root access then first thing you should do is tap on the build number for 7 times and after that go into developer options. And now go into root access and select apps and adb and now the root access is enabled otherwise your, the root access is not enabled by default so you have to do that. And the main features which are like on the CM12 basically not CM12 on the Cyanogen mod are like I can change the battery icon. This one is one of my favorite and best uh, customizations so for that go into status bar then select battery status style and after that I select circle and I prefer inside the icon. So now the battery icon as you can see it's showing circle and inside that there is percentage of the battery remaining. All the important features of Cyanogen mod like quick pull down by which if you slide from the right edge status bar pulls all the quick settings. Now if I scroll down from the right side of the status bar then it will give the quick settings toggle immediately and if I scroll from the right side then it will show me the notifications which are available. And if I swipe down once again then it will show the quick toggles if I swipe from right, left hand side. In the status bar only it's showing the weather as it's showing partly cloudy weather and it's showing champa I don't know why it's showing champa or everything anything like that and that's obviously not my city and if you click on that you will get to the yahoo weather widget. So this is the yahoo weather widgets and that's a good thing. I prefer that and this is the brightness slider you can increase or decrease brightness from here and uh, all the quick setting toggles like if I want to turn off the Wi-Fi then simply click over here this applies to all of them and if I want to select different Wi-Fi simply click on the name of the Wi-Fi and you will get to the Wi-Fi tab and from here you can select any Wi-Fi you want so all the settings like that are working over here and now if we go into settings once again if you go into home if you have any custom launcher installed, you can select that custom launcher as your default launcher from here. Like if I want Google Now launcher as my default launcher, then I, select, I can select that. And launcher 3 is the Cyanogen mod launcher, so I prefer that because of the customizations. So let's see what are the customizations that can be done in the launcher. For that, simply long press on the home screen and now swipe up. And now you will get to the settings of the launcher. 
like if you on the search bar then you you can select it on or off like i have uh, disabled the search bar now so there is no search bar google search bar is not there and if i want that then i can select on and different scroll effect like and all the scroll effects which i choose will be shown over here that will that means the preview will be shown over here so that's a very good thing the zoom in is like this zoom out is like this whichever you effect you like you can select that from here so that's a very good thing and these settings are for the home screen you can even customize the drawer settings like if you want the scroll effect in the drawer to be like rotated down you can select that and uh, you can select the sorting mode which is one of the most important thing like if you want the sorting mode to be based on launch count like if you use facebook most of the times so the facebook icon will be the first icon when you open your drawer and here also you can select icon labels so if you want the facebook name written below the facebook icon then you can select that so one of the main things is like most of the users do not like the large icons but still if you want the larger icons then you can select on in cyanogen mode you do not need to install any app locker or any app like lockdown pro to lock any of the application because you can simply select protected apps select a password let me select a password okay and after selecting this you can simply lock any of the applications like if i want to lock gallery applications plus gmail application so i can simply lock them and now if i want to go into gmail or gallery application they won't be in the drawer so that's a very good thing but still i have found that if you want to open the applications then simply hit the google option and select gmail and you can go into gmail so guys that was all for the launcher customizations now let's have a look at some of the cyanogen mod apps which are developed by cyanogen mod and which are really nice so let's start with one of the best app i found on the cm12 that's the music player application you can simply start or pause songs by hitting over here and Well, like a half a song thing and the animations are really very nice the status bar color changes according to the song if i switch to another song then the status bar color will change like it started so that's a really good thing and as you can see it, the circle over here shows the percentage of the song which is completed like if you go go over here also you can make out how much of the song is completed from here only so that's a really nice thing and the basic feature like you can scroll through albums artists songs playlist everything else so that's really nice thing about the music player applications and basically you can search anything so that was the music player application then another application is the file manage application which is completely lollified like all the lollipop animations are there and the file manager is basically materialized so that's a really nice thing and one of the weak points of this file manager according to me is that you cannot edit the system files with this but that's quite okay and you can simply explore usb otg by just swiping from here and selecting usb storage so that's a good thing about the that was it for the file manager app and another another application is the gallery application which is kind of same as the osp gallery application so nothing specifically new in this but that's a very good application next thing is the browser application and it's also neat and nice so no worries about that too let's take a look at the camera application and let's see how that performs on the oneplus one specifically and the photo click is also very nice the shutter speed was also fast so not no issues with the camera applications and one of the most handy feature in the settings is the search option over here as you can see if you want to decrease the brightness but you don't know where the brightness is then you can simply search for brightness and it will show you some of the applications related to brightness if you hit the brightness level then it will take you to the settings where the brightness level option is present and when we are talking about the brightness uh, as you can see, adaptive backlight is present over here adaptive backlight which dynamically adjusts the brightness of the display's backlight to maximize the battery life while maintaining usability like if you enable this and the brightness will be according to the sun's brightness i mean uh, brightness will be according to the surrounding conditions so that's a good thing and battery life won't be affected on huge scale and all the other small features but very nice features are already present over here by the time you are watching this video the option in the latest nightly might be added but as of now the option of decreasing the processor speed like decreasing the processor speed from 2.5 gigahertz to 1.5 gigahertz is not present over here so you cannot really underclock the cpu but you can simply select different profile like if i select balanced or if i select power save profile then i can surely save a lot of amount of battery 
and uh, as you can see when we, when i select power save mode the notification bar turns into red and the navigation bar over here also turns red all the animations are gone so there are no animations when you turn on battery save mode but that's surely a handy feature because it surely saves a lot of battery so i'll just stick to balanced mode right now and enable app profiles basically uh, chooses the frequency of the cpu according to the application you are using and in the latest update the root permissions are at the root of the privacy guard which is present under privacy by choosing privacy guard you can simply control your privacy which is shared with the applications if i don't want multi row manager to know my location exact location or anything else which most of the application uses these days so i can simply select this and the uh, every time multi row manager will ask for the permission uh, it will show me a pop up i can simply accept or deny the permission so that's surely a good thing and blacklist is something by which you can you can block some of the contacts so that's a good thing even after this this much long video i am pretty much sure that many of the features will be left behind so i'll try to make another video on them so i am pretty much tired now so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video so thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, many more videos on the sanation mod 12 and other other roms are going to real soon so don't forget to subscribe so thank you guys thank you for watching have a nice day